What's up, fellas? It's your boy Dark Kel right here, coming to you from Orlando, Florida, man. I'm over here at my shop where you know my guy's at, where he does the work. If you guys saw my previous videos, you guys saw I picked up the truck in Alsip. We brought it down here. It was a little, it was a mission to get down here. The truck had some issues. It had a bad air compressor. It had a bad air dryer. It had a lot of issues. It was out of time. It was out of timing. You know, the truck was parked for a long time. It just had a, it had a lot of issues with it. It had airlines that were cut. You know, just a lot of problems with it. Maybach did some of it over there, but if I brought it down here, you know, with God's help, we got it down here safely. I did have to make a stop in, in Ocala when I was about 90 miles from here on the way down on Sunday because it started studying on me. And I know that because I, I deal with these old trucks. I had to change the fuel filters. I did that on my own on the road. I pulled in the petrol in Ocala, bought the two fuel filters, and that solved that problem. But I made it down here, put it in the shop on Monday, and today is Friday morning, well, Friday evening, afternoon, and I just got the truck back. We just paid the bill. You know, the, in parts, it was about $1,700 in parts, new air compressor, new air dryer, all the belts. The fan was broken. We had to change the fan. Uh, you know, oil change, air filters, just a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? It, natural, and I'm so, let me tell you that when they opened up the valve covers, because I also did the valve cover gas on top and bottom, the Detroit 60s have a valve cover gas on the top and the bottom, so I changed those out as well. Oil pan gas got changed out. You know, just a lot of gas got changed out. You know, we, we fixed all, all these, but when they opened up the valve covers, I actually had those washers sitting inside of the freaking head, literally. So thank God that didn't cause no problems. They got to it. This mechanic, you know, he did timing on it. You know, he, he, you know, he tuned it up. This, this truck is running real good right now. So I'm really happy with what they did. The horn wasn't working on it as well. You know, that's a DOT issue. The truck was missing the centerpiece of the C, uh, the SCI steering wheel. I went ahead and bought one. I thought that's all it was. And I plugged it in. The, it, it wasn't working. We found out there was no power. So he did fix the horn on it. So we got the horn now. We're DOT ready now. And... So in parts, about $17 in parts, that's just Maybach's part. I also spent some money on my part on other things like the horn and all these other little things I did on my own. And um, as for labor, they only charged me, I think it was eleven thirty six for labor, which is real cheap for all the amount of work they did. I'm real happy with the work. And we'll let you see the truck, how it looks right now. So basically, all I've done to it is work. I did remove the seat out of it already. And I still got a couple more things. So let's check the truck out. All right, so this is my shop right here. Real small little shop. But they do miracles right here, man. All right, so there's the beast right there. As you can see, I did wash it. Looks like a whole different truck. Got the Maybach stickers right there. Still got the old mirror on this side. I gotta do some work right here. I'm probably gonna get the, Tal the Talladega, the, those Talladega um, wheel things that they sell. The bumper's already been ordered. Just gotta wait on that. But here's the beast. I named it Terminator because it's got like these round red LED lights inside. So when I'm coming down the road, it's got these two LED lights. Right up, so I call it the Terminator. The truck's looking real nice. You can see on this side, this is a new mirror. I did change. I put a new mirror on there. The other one has it come in. The, I ordered a lot of stuff for the inside from Rainey's. And part of the order came in. Only one mirror came. The other one will come in the other order. So that's looking real nice. It's got that mirror changed out. And, you know, truck's looking good. Let me open this door. I did clean it out a little bit, guys. Remember, I did drive it down from outside. As you can see, the passenger chair is already out. It has this base. I'm not going to remove it because, in, you know, my daughter's driving me in the summertime. Or if I remember going to team one of my buddies, I could put a chair back on there. You can see the box there for the, for the mirror that came in. Let me climb up in here. Oh. All right. So you can see there's still a mess right here. This cabinet right here, I'm gonna remove the bottom part. I'm gonna leave the top one because it's got, you know, it's got a cigarette lighter there for power. I am gonna paint all this stuff black. You see, it's got the nice black leather. All the lights work in here, so I'm happy about that. This has already set up. I got my fridge. That's just a lot of stuff on the bed. You know, I just gotta clean things up. Like I said, that's the box for the mirrors that came in. I also got some chrome parts in that I've already ordered for the dash. This chair is gonna be coming out today, and I will be putting another chair in there. So you can see it came with a SCI steering wheel. I put the center horn on the new, but that doesn't activate. The horn is actually controlled now by that button right there, which is all good. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, the, the this is how it looks right now. Still got the Eaton Fuller 13 speed transmission, you know, with the shifter. It's got the, it's, this got the shifter that got the bent to it. It's all good. In the future, I might put a straight shaft on there. I don't know. 
But uh, I did buy this kit, which they didn't have to use as the horn kit. When we saw the horn wasn't working, but they didn't have to, they were able to just do a horn some other way. And um, I have the chrome piece that goes here. I have the one on the side. On the side right here, I have that one. There's one on that side that I have. I bought all the gauges. I got all the chrome trims for the gauges new. I am going to stick with the blue theme, so that's that already. I got the chrome coming for down here. You know, I got all the AC vents are all coming in chrome. I just got to get this long one right here. I didn't know there was a long one, so I got to get this long one in chrome. But these four and the one over there I already have, I already ordered. And I have also ordered the backsplash. You know, your boy Darkel is going to do the backsplash. I already ordered it from this uh, company called Vivid. It's uh, it's a special, it's, you know, it's basically vinyl wrap that I like to use from that company. Is what I did my other centuries with. I've already used them twice. It works great. So I am going to be wrapping the back of this splash in a color called Blue Wave High Gloss or something like that. I don't think it's going to match this thing real perfectly, but it's a real nice color. I'll go ahead and throw a picture in there. And after this part, after the video part, you'll get to see some little pictures and I'll show you pictures of the... You'll see a picture of some blue thing. That's the color of the backsplash. And you'll see when it's done. I also got the, cu the cup holder for here. And the one that goes down here. This one is a pain in the ass to change. Now, FLD Life, the YouTube channel, he has a real good video showing you how you can change it. Because if you guys got one of these classics and you're trying to figure out how to put the new chrome cup holder there, it's a bitch. It's a little process. But look up FLD Life's video. He has a video of how he did that. And he makes it real simple. You can do it. Anyone can do it. So I do got this cup holder and I have this cup holder as well, which I have to install. A lot of stuff is still. Let me see. I actually think I have one of the cup holders in here. Let me see. Yeah, I do. I actually do. I have the main one that I want, which is this one. That goes right there. And like I said, there's other chrome stuff in here. You know, some of the chrome stuff. But yeah, I got some stuff already. And there's still two more orders coming. But just want you guys to see what the truck looks like inside. That's some of my tools. As you can see, like I said, the chair is gone. I'm not going to remove this base because in the summer, my daughter rides with me. And I want to be able to put a chair in there. So I'm going to leave that base there. Now... It's got this real nice freight liner, freight liner pad there, which I think I'm just gonna paint. Now, I was gonna do the floor in wood again, but I'm thinking that I'm just gonna throw a carpet in here. I might leave the front half, because this wood is actually not that bad, it just needs to be cleaned up. I'm probably just gonna put like a, you know, a separator right here, you know, like a trim right here. And I just do the back half in like a blue carpet. Or I might just do the whole floor in blue carpet. Because it is going to be blue theme in here. I am going to be putting a blue LED strip right up here. Like I did on the Century. So I can have my blue light while I'm riding. There's my CB radio. I got to get the trim for this. There's still a lot of work that I got to do to this truck. Remember, I just got this truck. Just got it back from the shop. We're about to start rolling. And we're going to be fixing it as we go. But I did already. Oh, you know, the dash wheel, all the trims, I pretty much got them. Not sure if I'm going to keep the steering wheel. I might be throwing, uh, you know, a different steering wheel on there. I, I, I might try to wrap the steering wheel. I might just leave it on there. I might just go with the oak steering wheel. I'm thinking about going with the blue backsplash, you know, the blue carpet. And I might just throw a nice oak steering wheel on here with an oak shifter. I am going to extend this. I was, I'm thinking about doing 18 inches. I might just go 12. But I am going to extend this shifter up and just put like an oak, a oak shifter on there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait to see till I do the backsplash and see, see, because the backsplash is going to really match that right there. But as you can see, it's not really the same color as the steering wheel, but we'll see how we go. We can always change the steering wheel. We'll figure it out. But guys, that's what it is. So that's the, you know, that's basically the truck right there, how it looks right now. Just so you guys can check it out. The video is already into the nine minute mark, but it's all good. You can see it's got these lights right here. Got a light hanging right there. Got this light right here. I'm going to be changing these lights on, putting like the blue cone lights right there, real nice. And just leaving these two on the side, get a new lens, a blue lens for this one. Get a blue lens for this one, just paint them up, make them look nice. I'm going to remove these nets. I don't like these nets. I will remove these nets out. Of, uh, they're, they're going to be gone. You know, so there's a chrome piece that goes here, which I ripped the old one. I was on, it was really messed up on both sides, so I'll be doing that. And yeah, like I said... All this gray that you see is going to get painted black. I really like this feature in the classics. It got this thing that just comes off. And you can just, you know, see if you want to have sun coming in. But all this gray is going to be painted black. 
I'll throw some speakers up there. Yeah, man. Truck's coming. It's a project. This will be gone because this is where my AC unit is going to sit. And like I said, guys, here's the before video. And you guys will get to see the after video. I'll do like I did with my Sentry. Once I got the truck ready, I'll do a before and an after. Anyway, we're already at the 10-minute mark, man. We're not going to get any more deeper. We're going to go ahead and end the video right here. It's your boy, Dark Kill, coming to Florida right here. You know how we do. This is Kelvin's. You know, this, you know, this is your boy Dark Kill. This is his new project right here. This is my truck. That's it. I, I got my classic truck. I actually got the Century, the 99 Century Blue one. It's up for sale. And I got a couple guys coming to look at it. So we'll be saying bye to the to, to the blue one. But it's all good. You know, that's what we do, man. We, we fix trucks up. We sell them. I got the one. I, I've been after a classic. I got it. And we're going to hook this one up. We're going to make this one look good. Like, again, this is the Terminator. The truck is going to stay white on the outside with the blue theme on the inside. So that's what it is. Your boy, Dr. Kel. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm about to go and puff on this cigar right here that I got. Celebration cigar for the day I got my truck back. That's what it is. Your boy, Dr. Kel. Out.